When you're finished making this bracelet, it should look like this. Let's get started. What I want to do is take off the middle row of pegs, flip it around so that the U is like this, and put it in line with the other three. So these are going to be facing like this, and the outside are going to be facing like that, this way. And then make sure the middle arrow is facing towards you and the outside are facing away from you. Make sure they're in line. What I do is you want to take your first color, which is going to be the one that goes all the way down the middle. You're going to go from this left peg forward. You're going to take the same color again, go from that peg forward. Then from that peg forward, you're going to do that all the way down until you reach the end. And then once you get all the way to the end, you are going to take the um, last rubber band that you have, so once you get to here, you're going to take another rubber band and you're going to go from that peg over to the side. Then you're going to flip your whole entire loom around so that the middle arrow is facing away from you and the two on the sides are facing towards you. Then you're going to do that same thing all the way down. And if you have a small wrist, then you will stop and reach the end. But if you have a bigger wrist, like mine, oops, you'll keep going until you reach the last row of pegs. So, since I am at the end here, you can stop here if you have a small wrist, or you have to flip your loom around again and do that same thing. So go from that last peg where you ended over and then go all the way down your loom again. I'm going to take your next color and that is going to be three three rubber bands of your next color. Mine is going to be yellow here. And you're going to start not from the first peg here but from the second peg. And you're going to start there and then go three pegs forward. So you went from the second peg to the fourth peg. Then you'll take three of your next color. Mine's going to be orange. Then you're going to go from the second peg that has yellow already on it. You're going to go from that peg and then you're going to go three forward. So then you just went from the third peg to the fifth peg. Then you're going to take your next color. Mine's going to be red. You're going to go from one inside here, and you're going to go three forward. So you just went from the fourth to the sixth. Then you're going to take your next color. Remember, you're taking three bands of each color. Mine's going to be pink. You'll go from the second second peg of your newest color three forward like this then you're going to take your next color three row bands of your next color mine is going to be purple and you're going to go from the second peg that has pink on it and go three forward so this is what it looks like so far the next, you're going to take three of your next color. Mine's going to be blue. You're going to go from the second peg that has purple on it and go forward. You can push all of these white bands down first. You don't have to. Then you take three of your next color. Mine's going to be a teal aqua. And you're going to go from the second peg that has blue on it 
and you're going to go three forward. Now sometimes that can happen, just make sure you move it back to where it was. And then I'm going to take three green, which is my next color. You're going to go from the second peg that has teal and blue on it, and you're going to go three forward again. You'll take your next color, mine is going to be yellow once more, and you're going to go three forward. So when you're done with that first row, it should look like this. Next, take your next color. Mine is going to be orange. You're going to put it from the second yellow going up and over to make a triangle. Then you're going to take your next color. Mine is going to be red. You're going to go from this peg up here. down and over like a triangle. So there will be a little indent here that it won't be a complete square. And that's what it will look like. Flip your loom. You don't have to. And then you grab your next color, which is going to be pink. Again, you're going to grab three of them. You're going to start at the top here, well, the bottom or the top. You're going to pull from there, and you're going to do the three. And then you're going to take your next color. Mine is purple. And you're going to start from the second part that has pink, pink in it. You're going to go from there. You're going to move three forward. Then you'll take your next color, which is going to be mine is blue. Make sure you're taking three of each. You're going to start from where the second purple is. And go three forward. Take your next color. Start where the second blue is. Go three forward. Like that. And you take your next color. Keep taking three rubber bands of each color. Don't forget that, otherwise your bracelet won't look very good. Then go from the second teal, three forward. You're just going to keep doing this all the way down the line. So go all the way down. I made a mistake over here. I put the yellow right here, starting right here. Make sure you start here, and these two, if you're doing rainbow like I am, should be red first, then pink, and then start your loom all the way down. Just so you end, you're going to make the two triangles again. So take three of your next color and start here. Go down like this. And then take your next color and start in the green, go around, over, so it should look like that, remember not a whole square, there should be a little indent Take here. three bands of your next color, and you're going to start from the end, and go three forward. Take your next color, start at the second, orange, Go three forward. Take your next color and go from the second here. Make a triple loop like this and put it on to this last peg. Don't do anything here. What I want to do is go in to this peg that you put the triple loop on after you flipped your loom around. Go into it, 
grab the last, this bottom one here, the bottom white one. I'm going to pull it up, pull it to the peg in front of it. Then you're going to go into the next peg. This one's really hard. You're going to pull this to the peg in front of it. And then you go into this peg here. As you can see this way, you go into this peg here. Grab the last band, pull it to the peg in front of it, like this. You get to the end, stick your hook in and grab the last band, it should be white, pull it over to the side. And this is where the two triangles are. Then you're going to flip your loom around. And since the U's are facing this way, you're going to do the same thing that you did on to on the first side. And you're going to go underneath, grab the first band, and you're going to go to the peg in front of it. Now if it gets stuck like mine just did, you have to move all of these. And then it'll go. So in that little corner, it should look like this. And then you're going to do the same thing you did here all the way down. At the end, you're going to reach in, grab the last rubber band on the bottom, which should be white, move it over to the peg over there. This one, I think you can use your fingers to kind of wiggle it out of that area. Move it over. Again, you can move the bands if it's not moving for you. Like that. Then you're going to flip your loom around again. You're going to reach in. Grab the band on the bottom, which again should be away. And you're going to grab it. I'm going to bring it, okay, I'm going to bring it to peg in front of it. Again, you might need to move these around a little bit to get it to move. I'm going to reach into this peg, grab the band on the bottom, it should be white, and pull it forward. And you're just going to do the same thing all the way down. Looping, it should look like this. And this is where the triple loop is. So when you're done with that, you take your C-clip, you hook it on to where you started your loom, and now you can take it off. So it's going to be a little hard, so take it off about each peg by peg. Now your rubber bands will definitely be stretched out. So as you take them off, just straighten them out and yeah, so and be careful not to rip any of your bands, otherwise it'll be really sad because you worked really hard on this. So. I'll show you the finished product when I'm done peeling off all of the bands off their looms. So what I just did was I attached the C-clip. Now for me, doing all three rows was way too big. So I just shortened it up by finding a new hook to hook it onto. And that made it shorter. So this is what it should look like when you are done with your whole bracelet. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.